Picture this. It's a cozy evening. The soft glow of your old TV casting a warm aura across the room. You're settled into your favorite armchair, popcorn at the ready, and anticipation dancing in your eyes. And then it happens. The opening notes of that unmistakable theme song fill the air. Schlemiel. Schlemiesel. Hasten Pfeffer Incorporated. You can't help but smile as Laverne and Shirley come prancing onto the screen. Arm in arm, their infectious laughter echoing through your living room. Your first encounter with the 1976 TV series, Laverne and Shirley, was a moment of pure magic. It whisked you away to a simpler time, a place where the quirks of two best friends trying to make it in Milwaukee became the highlight of your week. Whether it was their slapstick adventures at the Schatz Brewery or their never-ending quest for love, this dynamic duo left an indelible mark on your heart. Do you remember those memorable moments? Laverne's collection of El Monogram sweaters, Shirley's endearing innocence, and the zany antics of Lenny and Squiggy. Each episode was a treasure trove of laughter and camaraderie that made you feel like part of their close-knit circle. But there's more to this classic sitcom than meets the eye. Let's delve into some random facts about the show that will take you on a nostalgic trip down memory lane. So grab your favorite milk and Pepsi concoction, and let's dive in. Laverne and Shirley, a beloved TV series that aired from 1976 to 1983, originated as a spin-off of the equally popular Happy Days. Set in the 1950s and 1960s, the show revolved around the comical escapades of two blue-collar friends, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney, portrayed by Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams, respectively. Their dynamic personalities, with Laverne being feisty and Shirley more naive, created a perfect comedic balance. The show's unique style combined slapstick humor with heartwarming moments, often centered around their jobs at the Schatz Brewery in Milwaukee. The iconic opening sequence, where they skipped down the street while singing Schlemiel. Schlemiesel, Hasten Pfeffer Incorporated, became an enduring symbol of their friendship. Laverne and Shirley had a significant impact on popular culture, showcasing the strength of female friendships and paving the way for future female-led comedies. The characters and catchphrases like Laverne's L on her sweaters left a lasting impression, making it a classic sitcom remembered fondly by many. The evolution of Lenny and Squiggy and Laverne and Shirley in 1976. The hit TV series Laverne and Shirley introduced audiences to the lovable duo of Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney, played by Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams, respectively. However, the show's backstage story includes an intriguing twist involving two characters, Lenny and Squiggy, portrayed by Michael McKean and David L. Lander. Originally hired as writers and consultants for the show, McKean and Lander decided to take matters into their own hands, drawing inspiration from characters they had created in their college days known as Lenny and Andy. They pitched the idea of incorporating these quirky personalities into the show. The producers agreed but had one condition, the characters' names needed to rhyme with Laverne and Shirley's names. This requirement led to a change in one character's name. Antony was rechristened as Squig, a name derived from an unseen character in McKean and Lander's Lenny, and Antony sketches. Thus, Lenny and Squiggy were born, becoming integral parts of the show's comedic ensemble. Their inclusion brought an extra layer of humor and camaraderie to Laverne and Shirley, as Lenny and Squig's distinctive personalities and catchphrases became iconic elements of the series. Audiences loved their comical antics, and the characters' evolution from college sketches to beloved TV icons is a testament to the creative ingenuity behind the scenes. This behind-the-scenes insight into the creation of Lenny and Squiggy adds an interesting dimension to the legacy of Laverne and Shirley, showcasing how two talented writers found their way into the spotlight by turning their own characters into fan favorites on the small screen. In the eighth season of the 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley, David L. Lander often appeared without his co-star Michael McKean. This was because Michael McKean was involved in the movie This Is Spinal Tap. Interestingly, McKean was collaborating with Rob Reiner, who happened to be Penny Marshall's husband at the time. This led to McKean's limited presence in that season. On another note, Gary Marshall's children have mentioned that they were allowed to visit the set of Happy Days, but were not permitted to visit the set of Laverne and Shirley. 
This restriction was mainly due to the constant conflicts and disagreements between the show's lead actors. Lastly, it's worth noting that the apartment set used in The Odd Couple was modified to become the iconic apartment of Laverne and Shirley when The Odd Couple ceased production. These are some interesting behind-the-scenes tidbits from the 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley that shed light on the dynamics and connections within the show's production. In the 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley, Penny Marshall, who played Laverne DeFazio, later took on a directing role. In the movie A League of Their Own, she directed Eddie Mecca, David L. Lander, and her brother Gary Marshall. This transition from acting to directing showcased her versatility in the entertainment industry. The character Shirley's good luck charm was Boo Boo Kitty, a cloth cat. This endearing detail added depth to Shirley's character and became an iconic symbol of the show. Additionally, Penny Marshall's involvement in the series took an interesting turn during its eighth season. Initially, she hesitated to return when she learned that Cindy Williams, who played Shirley, planned to depart after only a couple of episodes. While on vacation, her agent informed her that a BC intended to sue her if she didn't come back. Marshall agreed to return but negotiated for a higher salary and a larger stake in the show due to Williams' departure. ABC agreed to these terms. However, later on, Marshall discovered that Cindy Williams had also received ownership for points in Season 8 episodes in which she wasn't present, which upset Marshall. Despite this, the eighth season of the series performed well in ratings finishing 25th for the year. ABC wanted Marshall to return for a ninth season, but rejected her demands for a substantial salary increase and filming in New York. Consequently, the series came to an end. In summary, Penny Marshall's multifaceted career, Shirley's iconic Boo Boo Kitty, and the contractual negotiations during the eighth season contributed to the unique history of Laverne and Shirley. This TV series remains a significant part of television history. Penny Marshall is the only actress to appear in every episode of the 1976 TV series Laverne and Shirley. She played the role of Laverne DeFazio consistently throughout the show's run. This feat showcases her dedication to the character and the series. Shirley's middle name was Wilhelmina, named after her late grandmother. This detail adds depth to the character and provides insight into Shirley's family background. While it may not have been a central plot point, it's a noteworthy piece of trivia for fans of the show. Penny Marshall has stated that her favorite episode of Laverne and Shirley is Why Did the Fireman? This particular episode stands out as one of the few serious episodes in the series. The plot revolves around Laverne's boyfriend, Randy, tragically losing his life while fighting a fire. Laverne struggles with grief and denial and her father plays a pivotal role in helping her cope with the loss. In conclusion, Laverne and Shirley remains a beloved TV series from 1976, and Penny Marshall's enduring presence in every episode, Shirley's meaningful middle name, and the poignant episode Why Did the Fireman, all contribute to the show's lasting impact on television history. As we bid adieu to this journey down memory lane, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the iconic 1976 TV series, Laverne and Shirley. Whether it's the infectious laughter, the quirky characters, or the heartwarming moments that have etched themselves into your memory, this show has undoubtedly left its mark on all of us. Perhaps you've shared a hearty laugh with a loved one while watching Laverne and Shirley's misadventures, or maybe you've found inspiration in their unbreakable friendship and unwavering determination. Whatever it may be, this series has woven itself into the fabric of our lives, and it's those cherished moments that make it timeless. Now, it's your turn to share. We'd love to hear your favorite memories, anecdotes, or thoughts about Laverne and Shirley. Feel free to leave your comments below, and let's celebrate the nostalgia together. After all, it's the collective love and appreciation for this show that keeps its spirit alive. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Stay tuned for more nostalgic adventures and reflections. Until next time, keep those memories close to your heart and keep sharing the joy of Laverne and Shirley. Warmly.